Did you hear? PayPal is making moves in the crypto world. A few days ago, global payment giant PayPal launched their own stablecoin called PYUSD. PYUSD, or PayPal USD, is a stablecoin on Ethereum that is designed to be redeemable for US dollars at all times. So currently, it is only available to select US customers. I know they're in the process of rolling this out in the next couple of weeks, but you can get ahead and set up automated alerts for PYUSD activity right now. And here's how. Before we start, you're going to need a dispatch account. You can sign up for one at dispatch.espresso.io slash sign up. We're approving a handful of new accounts as you're watching this video. So if you want to make the current cutoff, be sure to sign up as soon as possible. Let's get to it. When you log into Dispatch, you land on the dashboard. To start getting those automated alerts you want for PayPal USD, all you need is a trigger and an action. So for our trigger, we're going to choose smart contract event submitted. And then for our action, we're going to choose, well, where do you want the alerts to go? Discord, email, telegram, or even a webhook? For the sake of this video, I will just choose Discord. Go ahead and click complete patch. For those of you who don't know what patches are, a patch is an alert or automation. There you go, it brings us to the patch creation page. So now we can complete the rest of our patch. Because PYUSD is on Ethereum, for the network, we're going to choose Ethereum. Now, this is the fun part. Dispatch lets you create and monitor alerts for any verified smart contracts. So why don't we go ahead and click here and go all the way down to add a smart contract. There you go. So it's going to ask for the contract address as well as a name for it. Since I already have the address on hand, I'm just going to go ahead and paste it in. But in case you don't know, you can get that address easily off of Etherscan. All right, so now let's name it PayPal USD. Go ahead and click Find Events. Let's scroll down. Look at that. Dispatch literally pulled every single event in this smart contract and laid it out real nice and pretty for us. So let's go through the events and see what we've got here. We've got address frozen, address unfrozen, frozen address wiped. We've also got supply increased, decreased, and controller set. So you can select multiple events, but I think for this specific patch, I'm going to just choose one, and I'm going to choose address frozen. Basically, what this means is they have the ability to restrict your account from performing certain functions. And of course, they also have the ability to lift that restriction. All right, so these are interesting events. Why don't I just choose address frozen for now? So let's go ahead and scroll down, click continue. There you go. And yes, if you change your mind, you can go ahead and change that, but I still want Discord. So go ahead and click continue here. All you have to do now is choose the Discord server and channel that you want the alerts to go to. I am going to choose a testing server that I've made Great, second to last step. All we have to do now is test the action. You can skip this step, but I recommend testing it just to make sure that everything is working properly. So go ahead and send a test message. As you can see, that was a success, so everything should be working as expected. You can go ahead and click continue. Now onto the last step, which is renaming your patch or confirming the name. Let's name it PYUSD frozen address to discord all right so let's turn your patch on there you go all right that was easy now you'll get a notification every single time an address is restricted now i want to create a new patch with the same pyusd contract i just want to monitor a different event all right so why don't we go ahead and view our recent patch there you go here's what it looks like all right, so now we need to go over here and you can click to make a copy. Dispatch will make a copy of the same patch and now all I need to do really is just choose the events that I want. So let's go all the way down to trigger conditions and it'll open this up. Let's scroll down to events. All right. 
So some of the other events that I find super interesting are the supply increased, supply decreased, and the supply controller set. I want to monitor all three of those in one patch. So I'm going to select all three of them. But I'm going to scroll up and make sure that this is unchecked. All right, so go ahead and click continue. I want to send it to the same Discord channel, same Discord server. So I'm going to actually leave these two here. All good. Let's click continue. Let's send a text message. Success. Then I'm actually going to rename this specific patch to PayPal supply changes to Discord. Yeah. Cool. So now all we have to do is turn that patch on. Now I bet you're wondering if this actually really works. Let's go ahead and bring my Discord up here. I had created a similar patch earlier and I sent it to my tokens channel and you can see it indeed does work. And if you want to see all of the extra details, go ahead and click view details and dispatch. You want to visit the site and it'll bring you here. It's quick, it's easy, and it requires absolutely no coding. It's a win-win-win. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, drop a like and comment down below. We're always open to hearing your feedback, so feel free to let us know. We truly want to hear from you. Alright, so that pretty much wraps it up today. I will see you guys in the next video.